Hello there, and welcome to my living room. I'm Kathleen Hirschner. I haven't had a chance yet to talk about the Basque country here in my living room, but I have a young Basque woman here today <laughs> who actually speaks Basque quite well. It's her first language, and I'm really excited to be able to explore a subject that has always been a bit of a curiosity to me. And when I first saw this lovely young woman, I thought to myself, I'll bet that woman has worked as an actress. And sure enough, <laughs> when I read Oana Mari Torrena's yeah. 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 <laughs> um, formulario, you have indeed worked as an actress. And mm -hmm. I can kind of tell by looking at you, you sort of have a, a presence mm. about you, which actors and actresses have. And uh, I don't know you, you don't know me, but mm -hmm. you know about this program, obviously. Yeah, a little bit. Or you I wouldn't know. be here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know a little bit, yeah. Okay. Well, tell me a little bit about the area of Spain that you're from, um, known as País Basco. Mm -hmm. um, I think you're, you're from Donostia. Yeah, I'm from Donostia. Yeah. It's a small city situated in the north of Spain, in the province of Guipúzcoa. It's small, but it's a city. And we have, as you have said, two official languages, the Basque, and the Spanish, but not a lot of people speak it. No, I, I was telling you before we came on the air that I've had a few Basque friends mm -hmm. who speak Basque, mm -hmm. but they don't like to speak Basque. And I, I think it's fascinating, and I've read a book about the Basque culture, was written by an Englishman, but it's quite interesting. And I thought, this is such a fascinating language. It's mm -hmm. a language that is unlike any other in the world, and it's, it's, it's gonna die if people don't yeah. sp keep speaking it. Yeah, I, know. I hope it's not going to die, but yeah, a lot of people, I don't know why they don't want to speak it. They say that it's not useful, that maybe they prefer to study English or German uh -huh. than You Basque. can know more than one language, hence yeah. this program. You speak three that I know of, English, yeah. Spanish, and, and, Basque. and Basque. Anything else? A little bit of French, okay. but not a lot. I mean, I think that, I, I understand the, my friends' feeling about how Spanish is useful and, and mm. you know, why would I want to invest time in speaking Basque. But if you know it and you can speak it with your friends at home, you could have like a secret code. Yeah, a lot of people use it when they are in another place and they know that people won't understand. But I think it's sad. I think that if you are Basque and you are from the Basque country, it's something very interesting then. It's part of the culture, so. You're from a very I unique think. group of people that mm. genetically are quite unique. Even mm. your blood type is unusual yeah. over, I forget <laughs> what, the, what the situation is there, but you have a very unusual yeah. thing with blood. Yeah, a little bit. What is it, like everybody's A or some, uh, there's no, I know, just enough to be dangerous. Do you know what I'm talking <laughs> yeah, about? Yeah, I know, I know, yeah. Can you get me the right answer? Uh, I, I don't know if I will give you the okay. right answer. Maybe at the end of the program, yeah, if maybe. I treat you well. <laughs> she says, yeah. We'll see. Um, well, I mean, it's, uh, it's a, such a small region, and it's one that, that Americans are very curious, are, have a lot of curiosity about. Mm -hmm. And where I'm from in San Francisco, we have a Basque cultural society. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I was always like, what is going on over there? Because you know, they'd wear their traditional costumes and have had like Basque. And dances on it. Yeah. Like, but, and you know, the French people have a Basque part. They're part of that yeah. region as well. Yeah, we have four provinces in, in Spain and three in France. Yeah. But there are always conflicts because people from France, they don't want us to be together and everything. Like It's a little bit complicated. It is compl You're one yeah. people, I think, aren't you? I mean, yeah. But well, so... Oana, do you live in Madrid now, or do you still live in Donostia? No, I'm living in Madrid just for six months, and I'm going back to Donostia. <laughs> yeah. Really? <laughs> Are you happier there? I like Madrid, too. Yeah. I think the Basque country is beautiful, and I would like to live in Donostia one day, but maybe not, not now. Right. What are you doing here in Madrid? What, ha what brought you here? I came can you say? To, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're like, I don't know if I can I tell you. I don't know if I'm going to tell No, yes. I came to, to find a job as an actress. Mm -hmm. But so you're trying to get into yeah. the, the, the world of what, theater acting or screen acting? Stage I don't really stage care, screen, no? everything. Yeah. I have worked in the Basque country in different things yeah. like theater, films and TV, but I wanted to try here in Madrid because yeah. I thought that maybe in the Basque country it was closed for me now. And well, maybe, are there more, there's probably more opportunities in a city like yeah, Madrid for sure. to work in, in yeah. uh, in acting, mm. are you going to classes? Because actors go to class all the time. I mean, yeah, you have to be all the time learning, or, <clears throat> yeah, and different things like dancing or music or yeah. yeah. I used to uh, to study in a school in San Sebastian of theater. Oh, really? And here, no, not yet. But maybe next well, year. Well, I have friends. I have 
I don't have a lot of friends who are actors, but I have some. And they, you know, they study acting in school, but mm -hmm. then they keep going to workshops or, you know, improv groups. They mm -hmm. belong to certain groups to keep their skills fresh and up to yeah. I up think to that speed. you have to do that because if not, you will be like upset or something. Yeah. yeah. You or maybe to. you just end up doing the same thing over and over and over, and that's, mm. that's not good either. No. Well, what else have you studied? I mean, what else have you done besides try this acting thing? I, I would imagine that you've had another way to earn a living or to yeah. make money. You're not that old, but <laughs> I don't think. <laughs> no, I'm not yet. Okay. <laughs> I studied economics in the Basque yeah. Country, but I haven't worked as an economist yet. No. I have worked as a dance and theater teacher in mm. a school, and also as a Basque language teacher, really? yeah, for two years. Mm. And and who wants to learn Basque? Who are the who are most of your students? Are they Spaniards? <laughs> there are a lot of people. I had different classes, and some of them were people that they had to study it because in some of the administration they asked you to have the language just to work with people in Basque. So some groups or some people want to study because of that. And these kind of people maybe are not so easy to work with because they are only they only want to pass pass an exam, right. and it's a little bit not as much fun to no, teach them. No. Well, I when I was teaching English to well not just to Spaniards but to Asian people, mm -hmm. people all over the world, I found that the students <clears throat> who are learning English because they want to speak it, because they want to travel yeah. or they want a better job or something like that, that actually want to learn. They're so much more fun to teach because yeah, their motivation sure. level is up yeah, here. <clears throat> but I often had students who, whose companies would say to them, all right, <clears throat> you have we've been purchased by an English company or an American company and now you got to get yeah. in the driver's seat. Mm. And I felt sorry for them because I, I, rather than be angry, I thought this is not what they want to be doing. Hmm. what they want to do, and they, yeah. they're being forced. And so what I tried to do was make it fun for them. Yeah. I don't know if I was successful <laughs> or not. I'm sure you were. Uh, I don't know. Some, you know how teaching is. Some days yeah. you think, yeah, I was really good and today. some days are like, oh, no. <sighs> yeah. yeah. But there are a lot of people also that want to, to learn it because <clears throat> they love it, or people that maybe in the past days they couldn't speak it because it was forbidden, mm -hmm. and now they want to, to learn it. It's beautiful to teach <clears throat> these people. Well, yeah. a lot of my friends, my young friends, who, who are from the Basque country, they write to each other in Basque in, on Facebook. I can see it. <laughs> <clears throat> and it's impossible to figure out. Yeah, it's impossible. Because you'll like, look at it and you'll go, well, I see a lot of X's and K's and T's. <laughs> Basque. Basque. And I don't understand it, so it must be Basque. Yeah. And you know, they're writing to each other. And so a couple of times, I've done this thing that a million people have done, it, where you copy it and then paste it into translator, and it just... It doesn't work. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, that can't possibly be a sentence. Yeah, I think that the, those translators are not really good. Yeah. No. You have to speak with some of them. Exactly. Why yeah. did you this, Why did you study e economics in school? Why? Yeah, what made you... You don't seem like... <clears throat> this no. kind of person to me, but you know, whatever. Yeah, I don't really know why. When I was 18, I just knew that I wanted to study something because I wanted to be an actress, but it's such an insecure thing. It is. That it's a, you, maybe it's one of those things you have to have another career to support yeah. the acting habit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and that's why I thought, okay, I'm going to study something. I didn't know what. Yeah. My father studied economics, yeah. and I, I was good at math and everything, and yeah. I decided, why not? It's useful. Yeah, and it's yeah. And when you're when you're an actress and you're not making money, you can figure out the economics of that situation. Everything is economic. So. <clears throat> hmm. Well, what um, what else can I ask you? What, what other interests do you have besides uh, acting and and being with your friends in Donostia? <laughs> do you do you have any? Do you practice sports? Do you like to sing? Do you? I know you dance, but what else do you do? Yeah, I love dancing. Yeah. Are you I, musical? What are you musical? Mm. A little bit. Mm. I used to play the piano and the accordion, but I wasn't really good singing. No, not yet. Accordion. That's my yeah. least favorite instrument. Really? Yeah, I hate it. Why? I don't know. It's sort of like, it's an irrational feeling yeah. or emotion, and I really don't know why. I've never had a bad experience with an accordion. Yeah, but... Or an accordionist <laughs> <laughs> that I know of. But um, I don't know why I hate them. There's no reason to hate them. Mm -hmm. They are from... There are, they are here in Spain, they're in Italy. I love Everywhere. those countries, yeah. and, but I don't like the sound. I yeah. play the piano. 
Yeah, I maybe love I don't the piano. like the piano being like this. I think it's more beautiful the piano too, mm. oh, I had to and more comfortable yeah. also. Mm. Like duh, you start playing it, and mm. yeah, I loved it. Did you when you first came here? What you've been here six months? Yeah, six, six, seven. When you first came here, um, did you know anybody in in Madrid? Or did you come here by yourself? I knew some people, but just a little bit. They were not my friends' friends. So I came to a friend's house, yeah. but then I moved to another place. Yeah. yeah. And was it difficult for you to integrate into mm. the Madrid, Madrilena lifestyle? Not really difficult, yeah. but I, start, I started going to a gym and I started uh, dancing with people and everything. Yeah. And it wasn't so difficult, yeah. but no, it was okay. And well, I think that in the Basque country it's more difficult maybe to integrate. Really? Yeah, so maybe I'm used to it. Sorry. They say in the United States, they say that it's, we have a fly in here. Mm. Yeah. I'm gonna kill it. <laughs> um, they say in the United States that, that people from the East Coast are the ones that are difficult to get to know, but once you know them, they are your friends for life. Right. Yeah. Which is, sound, it's like, come on, that's so stereotypical. <laughs> but, Anybody yeah. can be your friend for life if you get to know them and you have a relationship. Mm -hmm. but, but it's true, though, that people on the West Coast are more like, hi, how are you? Oh, it's great to meet you. Mm -hmm. You know, very, like, superficial yeah. in one way. That's what they say with uh, people, people from the south of Spain yeah, and the, people from the north. The seven that we are, we are not maybe so, ah, hi, how are you? But then when you know someone, it's, like, more close. Yeah. But that's what they say, and I don't know. I think, nah. personally, I think people are people. Yeah. I do think maybe weather has something to do with it. I, it has to. Yeah, it has to. People yeah, yeah. live in cold, rainy, gray climates. They're not going to be quite as sunny. Yeah, it's different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah right. You can gener generalize. Generalize. Yeah, yeah, I think that in all the, all the places are people like this and this. Yeah. You, ha you can find them. Have you ever been to the United States? I was there just for 10 days in New York, Boston, and Washington, because I was mm. studying in Montreal. And mm. I went to just You went for, to university in Montreal? Yeah, for five months. Wow, fun. Yeah. It was Talk great. about a cold <laughs> place. Yeah, and I went in oh, winter. In, you went in winter? Yeah, from January to April. And I didn't Oof. see the sun. It was like, oh my God. So essentially, Oana, you lived underground. Yeah. Because people in yeah. Montreal are like moles. They live under yeah, the city. The, mm -hmm. yeah, it it was, is surreal to be there. Yeah, it was real. I didn't used to go so much to malls because I, was, I wanted to travel a little bit also, and I was with friends all yeah. the time. But it's like that because Oof. you can't stay on the street. Oh, no, 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 no. Always no. with the snow and the cold. Oh, it's incredible. I went to Montreal about 20 years ago, mm -hmm. maybe more. I blocked that memory. <laughs> but I remember um, going to Montreal at, get this, Christmas Eve. Mm. Like the, maybe it was the day before Christmas Eve. Okay. And we wanted to go up to Montreal. We were living in New York, New York State. Mm -hmm. So we're like, hey, it's only a six hour drive. Let's go up to Montreal. Hey, great, let's go. And we got there and we got out of the car. And I was like, oh, <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> And then I got back in the car. It was 35 degrees <laughs> yeah, below you know. zero Fahrenheit. Yeah. I don't know what that is Celsius, but it was so cold that it was painful. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's horrible. It was really hard to walk. It was like going oh. to class and it was like, oh, I don't want to go. Yeah, oh. really hard. But it's, I think it's a new experience also because yeah. for me, I don't never see the snow, so it was really strange. It's a beautiful different. city. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I'd like yeah. to go in the spring or summer. Yeah, I want. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. Did you? And so that's where you learned a little bit of the French that you speak. But not really, because they speak Quebecois. Yeah, and they I do. I didn't understand. It's like anything. Spanglish. Yeah, it was really difficult for me. You know, one thing that I do remember from my brief period in Montreal, I think I spent most of the time in the ho hotel room <laughs> and in the underground yeah. mall. But one thing I noticed and I still remember, was, was going into a, I'd go into like a store mm -hmm. in the shopping malls, and I'd never been around a multilingual part yeah. of the country. I grew up in the Midwest, and mm -hmm. people speak English. Yeah. And I remember walking into the mall, and people could look at you, the Montreal, the Canadians would look at you, and they'd know which way to go. Yeah. They wouldn't even like start speaking in French and then change English. Changed. They'd just look at you. Oh, English. We just speak in English. And of course, they're bilingual. Okay. It was yeah. cool. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah. That's something that I really liked from Quebec, the part of Quebec. Yeah. yeah. It was hard for me to understand, but it was 
Beautiful, too. Yeah, you seem pretty open-minded, though. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you could use that someday if you, if it, you ever audition for a role where they need a Spanish woman who can speak with a French accent or Quebecois. <laughs> you, you yeah, can, I can go there. Yeah, 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 yeah. I will try. Well, so how's the acting thing going? I mean, have you had, if you, I hate to ask you this because I hope the answer is yeah, yeah, the yeah. positive. Have you had some success so far? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You've so. been in commercials, movies, on the stage. What, what have you, what has been the easiest area to find work? Easiest. In, yeah. Or the, well, not the easiest, but the one where you've had the most success. I just started working like 10 years ago in the Basque TV. Yeah. In Basque TV? Yeah. Really? In Basque also. And it was easy to move from one series to another. I started in one, we changed to another, like for the young people, then to another. So it was almost easy. A TV series. Yeah, okay. yeah. Because if you have the Basque, and I was studying theater, and it was really beautiful. And then I worked also in two films as a main actress, mm -hmm. and it was really beautiful. It wasn't so easy to go or to get the job, but right. it was really nice. Yeah, the experience, I love it. Hmm. Wow. I would like to repeat, and I hope I will, but we'll see. Well, you know, it's, it's one of those funny careers that you can spend a lifetime enjoying and yeah. doing and you may m m be a success and and be able to only do that but the reality yeah. i guess i'm just guessing the reality is that it's always good to have another way to make money yeah i think so um even with i mean with a job like i have on th this tv program we don't tape it all the time. A lot of people think that the show that they see that's still on TV, yeah. that I'm still doing it. And that I'm like, no, sense. I've changed in two years. Cause, but we did that in 16 weeks. Mm -hmm. And, yeah. you know, it's very hard. Yeah. Just and to... when you finish and you have like three months without anything, it's like, yeah. oh my God, what am I going to do? So I think, as you have said, that it's nice to have another thing or try yeah. to move a little bit. And... Well, you know, a lot of people and a lot of celebrities, famous. Mm -hmm. movie stars, whatever you want to call them in the United States. It's no accident that those people are children of either very successful people that have a lot of pasta. Mm. What's the word for money in Basque? Didua. Didua, that have a lot of didua? Didua. Didua. <laughs> I learned an important word, word in Basque. <laughs> um, a lot of people that have a lot of didua, didua um, can have the flexibility and the freedom to explore their artistic creative yeah. sides and the rest of us have to work for a living i think or they have the parents that are famous yeah which opens doors i think it's the same here also there are a lot sure. of ch daughter or sons of famous actresses singers and yeah it you works know like I, that. i'm thinking that really there are some that are legitimately really talented i mm -hmm. mean because obviously you yeah, inherit sure. a genetic maybe disposition pre mm -hmm. propensity whatever, from your parents, like Kiefer Sutherland mm -hmm. is a good actor. Yeah, His yeah, father, Donald Sutherland, was a great actor. You know, so I mean, all right. That's yeah, fair. sometimes it works, yeah. Sometimes but sometimes maybe hmm, the contact is more important. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are either one of your parents theatrical? No. <laughs> no? <laughs> no, my mother, she's a teacher. Yeah. And my father, he was uh, an economist, well, he's. Yeah. Well, my parents weren't anything like I ended up being. And my mom's like, yeah, we think it's pretty funny that Kathleen <laughs> makes her living talking. Yeah. Because when I was a kid, they always were trying to shut me up. Oh, I really? Talked, I talked too much. Mm -hmm. So the joke in my family is like, yeah, clever girl. She figured out how to make money <laughs> talking a lot. Well, you know, you go with what you know. Yeah, that's, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. You did a good job. Well, I was, you know, a bit lucky too. You know, it's about, in your business especially. Mm-hmm. It's about being in the right place at the right time. It's about being prepared mm -hmm. when you have an opportunity. Mm -hmm. yeah, it is. I don't know if it's about being lucky. I don't believe in luck so much. I think sometimes you can have a break, get a make a break mm -hmm. or get a break. Mm -hmm. Somebody sees you and you know, mean, you're a very pretty she, woman she and maybe they find out that you're an actress and they're like, well, she looks good. Let's see if she can act. That's yeah. a typical sexist thing yeah. that women have to endure. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. think that that mm -hmm. happens, happens a lot. I think it happens. Yeah, why do people, why do you think, Oana, that people want to see good-looking people only? Like, when we go to a movie and watch actors and actresses, we want them to be, like, really good-looking. 
even if they're the villain or even if they're, yeah. you know, a bad person and they're supposed to be like more attractive than normal people. I don't know What's why? all that about? But I think it's the same in Spain. Yeah, it's, you know. it's, I think it's the same in all the places. Yeah. But I don't know why, because we are... Uh, you want to see, yeah, because we are normal people. There are normal people in the world. And I think that you have to see on the cinema or on the TV the people as always on the street. Yeah, I, I suppose know. unless, unless but the people that go to movies or I think it happens in cinema more than in theater. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <clears> but theater, I think not so much. No, yeah. TV, yes. But people that, you know, they want to see, they want to go to and have a fantasy. Maybe. You yeah. know, they want everybody to look great. They want it to be like, a, even if it's a, a murder mystery, you mm -hmm. know, everybody looks good. Even like actresses wake up with makeup on. Come on. <laughs> if, you know, they I look. always perfect. Yeah. I look a lot better on this show than I do in my real life because obviously <laughs> I have people that help me. Mm -hmm. But for instance, I came today to the studio and I walked by, uh, you know, in El Corte when you go up the escalator? Yeah. And I walk, you know, they have the mirrors there. I don't know why they do that. <laughs> but I looked at them and I thought, oh, oh no. no. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, I After. can't, I, yeah, <laughs> I, I, I can't go to TV today. But yeah. then I thought, no, wait a minute. That's why we have makeup yeah. artists. You can walk in and look one way and leave. Yeah. Looking yeah, I remember when I started working and when I was 15, I used to work at 7 o'clock in the morning and Ooh. I was like, oh, sleeping. Ouch. And then you were like beautiful and it was like, wow, I have changed a little bit. Yeah. yeah. I, I like, my, I like TV. myself. Yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> what about these actors and actresses? I can only reference American ones because mm -hmm. I don't watch. Yeah. I don't, I, I haven't been to, in Spain long enough really to, to know many of your celebrities, but... Um, what about people like Charlize Theron, Theron, who made herself look horrible in... Monsters Ball. Uh, Mo is it Monsters Ball? I think so. I'm not sure. That was Halle Berry. Uh, well, anyway, she, she was playing a homeless woman or something, mm -hmm. and she looked <clears throat> awful. Mm -hmm. And I thought, wow, what if that's close to the way she really looks? Mm-hmm. Look. I yeah. never thought of that. I mean, she's beautiful. Yeah, she's but really beautiful. But what if she's beautiful because she has help? What if, if she didn't have help, she looks the other way. And so, who knows? <laughs> we so never, we I don't know. We won't never know. And <laughs> like people like, uh, well, Robert De Niro, one of my favorite actors, right. gained a ton of weight, damaged his health <laughs> for Raging Bull. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? And how many, which I wouldn't be willing to do that. I'm not an actress, but if I, if I were an actress, I yeah. would not be willing to get really fat for, uh, a, for a role. Me, I don't know. Maybe... If you have to and it's a really good job, maybe yes. Not me, no. sister. No <laughs> way. How about shaving your head? Would you shave your head for a role? How much money would it yeah. would it require? A lot. No, no, I don't know. No, I, I think I, that I, I would do it. I, how much? How much do you do? do you, whatever. If the project is interesting, no? Because the hair will come back again. I, <laughs> in in my, two years, you maybe. You have beautiful hair. I'd hate to see you lose it. <laughs> no, with these are questions that I've often, we've often sat around and asked yeah. each other at parties. Like, how, how much would, if so, how much money would it require for you to eat mierda de mm. perro? Oh. Oh, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I'm thinking, well, I don't know, <laughs> three hundred thousand euros. I might be willing to think about it. Yeah, I would ask a lot for that. Yeah. Shaving your head? I don't know. Hmm. Well, maybe it's a good moment to try to shave your hair. I, well, I'll have you back <laughs> in, in a few in a few months, and we'll see if you. Yeah, actually, no, I, do I don't know if I will, but maybe yes. I don't know. I don't know why I'm asking these strange questions, but you, yeah, you brought up my creative spirit mm -hmm. today. That's nice. Oana. Say your last name again for me, because I know I forgot it. Maritorena. Maritorena. It's not that hard to say. No, it's, it's just not. hard to remember. Yeah. <laughs> it's beautiful. And it was lovely. Uh, it was really nice to meet you. You're a lovely girl. Thanks a lot. And I hope you're successful. I hope I hope to. I want to yeah. say, oh, I interviewed that woman. <laughs> I interviewed that woman a few months ago. Thank you. Thanks a lot. And thank you for tuning in to another program here in my living room. We'll have more charismatic and wonderful guests like Awana for you very soon. So hasta luego. Adios. Bye-bye.